Hello everyone, it's the May Bank holiday weekend here in the UK. I've got Liv with me and we are in Glencoe. We've got quite a chilled weekend, not too much hiking, but we want to still camp in nice places. So I uh, planned a little route. We drove up to Glencoe from Edinburgh this morning and we did some tourist stuff around the area. And uh, it's now 3 p.m. and we are just starting the hike up to Bukali Etiv Dig. This is not a long hike, it's just under eight kilometers to climb both summits and to get back to the car. Seeing as we want to camp somewhere along the ridge tonight, so setting off at 3 p.m. I think would get us up to our camp for hopefully half six or seven o'clock at the latest, by which time I'm hoping most of the people will have gone home so we can set up and have the whole place to ourselves. And then the plan for tomorrow is that we'll be coming back down in the morning, do some more general tourist stuff in the area before heading up another mountain called Benacruest. Forgive me if I pronounce that one wrong, please do correct me. And we'll be up there camping again for the night. We'll probably be climbing that in the late afternoon or in early evening. Also for this trip, I've lent Liv my usual carbon fiber trekking poles and I'm using 3F's new 120 gram trekking poles, which they've sent to me kindly. We've pitched up the tent just underneath Stub Do. We've got a really amazing view of Glen Etive behind us and I'm really happy that we managed to find this little two meter by two meter patch of grass just underneath the summit at about 900 meters. That's us packed up and we are off again this morning. We're heading back north, retracing our steps from yesterday before climbing up Stob Choir Reynach. Last night's world camp was really wonderful. We had a really nice view of Loch Etiv behind us and then the Glencoe Mountains to the side. And uh, this morning we even had a bit of colour in the sky for the sunrise. Yes, the tent wasn't flat. I did wake up four to five times to move myself back onto the mat and back into the middle of the tent but it was completely worth it for the views. That's the top of Stop Fire Arena where we made it. It's only 10 a.m. So we've got quite a lot of time to go uh, until we need to set off the camp tonight. Liv wants to do a few more touristy things, uh, so I'll see you guys later. And tonight we'll be camping just over there. Welcome back, it's 5.30 and we are beginning to climb towards our campsite for the night. 
we will be climbing up Ben a Krulist. And the main reason why we want to camp there is because it's supposed to have a really nice view of Bukali Etiv Moor. The hike up is only a few kilometers and a few hundred meters of climbing, so quite a short walk to end the day with. This is a really hot weekend. The weather forecast for the area says during the day is a high of about mid 20s. I'm wearing a single layer t-shirt and it's still feeling quite hot. The wind behind us is really nice, it's cooling us down and I'm hoping that it stays with us for the whole entire climb. Well, here we are at the summit. It's really quiet here, and uh, because it's a little bit later on during the day, it's 7.30 now, there's absolutely no one else here. And the views in 360 degrees is just wonderful. The ground that we pitched on is a little bit rocky and it is still quite windy up here so just to help the tent stay in its place we put some rocks on the pegs. But now we've pitched up, we've got this amazing view, it's time to relax for the evening. It's the morning of the Monday and uh, we have packed everything up apart from the tent and are basically ready to leave. We slept really well last night, slept for probably about 10 hours in total, uh, even though we did get up to uh, look at the sunrise at around 5am. I'm just going to end the vlog here because all we'll be doing today is retracing our steps back to the car park. But it's been a little bit of a different trip for us. It's more of a camping trip rather than a hiking trip. The first night we had the view of Loch Etiv and last night we had obviously the view out to uh, Brookley Etiv Moor and the Three Sisters over in the distance, uh, which is fantastic. Even though this trip didn't involve that much hiking, it was still pretty nice. It was a nice change of pace, a bit more relaxing and fantastic campsites with gorgeous views. But don't worry if you're here for the uh, more hiking stuff, my next video will definitely involve a lot more hiking. But anyway, thank you all for watching, take care and I'll see you in the next one.